What's going on guys? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Today we are back with the Mossberg Shockwave 590S. We just did a full video on this a couple weeks ago. I highly recommend watching that as well. It's basically 15 minutes of me mag dumping into garbage like a child, but it was so much fun. So Mossberg has several different variations of these shockwaves now, and we pretty much have all of them at this point, except the SPX, which is another one that I really wanna get. But the 590S is by far my favorite of them all because it's designed to shoot everything from a little one and three quarter inch mini shell all the way up to a three inch magnum. And we tested that in the last video. It does in fact cycle everything flawlessly which is awesome because I think mini shells are the perfect ammo for these little Mossberg shockwaves. But in the comment section of that last video and other videos that I've done throughout the years with mini shells, there's a recurring question that always seems to pop up. How effective is a 12 gauge mini shell? So today we're gonna find out. All right, before we start the test, let me just show y'all how this thing works and how freaking cool it is. We've got the Crimson Trace laser side saddle on there, thanks to sportsmansguide.com, who by the way, is our sponsor for today's video. Sportsman's Guide has pretty much everything you can think of outdoor related. Fishing, hunting, camping, shooting, ATV accessories, the list goes on. Our discount code is OneShotTV. Use that and you will save $20 off your first 100 spent. And if you join the Buyers Club, you will get 10% off everything in the store, 5% off ammo, and free shipping on orders that are $49 and up. So check them out, sportsmansguide.com, and use our code because they send us really cool stuff like this to make videos with. So typically with shockwaves, you gotta bring them up to your face to use the sights. And it works, but it's definitely not the most comfortable way to shoot them in my opinion. Plus, you run the risk of bashing yourself in the forehead every time you pull the trigger. Hip firing is really the way to go with these guns. And the laser allows you to do that with precision. Watch this. Yeah, the laser is an absolute game changer. I've had these shock waves since they first came out and I don't know why I never got one of these before, but I absolutely love it. Let's test this thing. Torso delivery. All right guys, we have established that the Shockwave 590S absolutely rules and mini shells are fun to shoot, easy to shoot, and have substantially less recoil than a regular 12 gauge shell. But all that means nothing if they aren't effective. So today, we're gonna find out just how effective they are on a human torso from BallisticDummyLab.com. You guys have seen these a million times, we shoot them quite a bit, so I'm not gonna explain it all in detail, but these are by far my favorite target to shoot on the channel. Mini shells have been requested quite a bit, and today we find out how lethal is a 12 gauge mini shell. Let's do it. Now we do have birdshot mini shells, but I'm not even gonna waste my time because we already know birdshot is not effective enough for self-defense, at least in my opinion. Even full-size birdshot really doesn't do too much damage to these torsos. So we're just gonna go ahead and skip straight to the number four buckshot. This is Federal 15 pellet number four buck and it's definitely one of my favorite mini shells. I swear the wood furniture makes this gun sound better. 
By the way, if you like this, we also have a discount code. I'll put a link in the description box below. It's from Wooks, and One Shot TV is the discount code. That'll save you 10% off. So I highly recommend it. All right, number four buckshot. I'll go ahead and put this one on the left lung, and we'll see what it does. <laughs> So because we're so close, there is kind of an offset on the laser. I was aiming right there and it went probably an inch and a half to the left, but that actually worked out better because now we can see what it did to the bones in the organ and what it did in just straight ballistic shell. So obviously it looks like it penetrated more than enough to hit the fluid, did quite a bit of damage, shattered a couple of the ribs and you can see what it looks like going in. And then on the back, there are seven or eight buckshot pellets right there in the torso. They're probably an inch from the back of this thing. So it looks like none of them penetrated all the way through, but they came pretty dang close. That's a pretty good result. You could argue it's a perfect result. Obviously it all depends on how much penetration you prefer. Personally, I like more penetration, pause, but I know some people aren't a fan of over penetration. So this might be perfect because they came about as close as you could possibly get without passing all the way through. And it definitely appears to be lethal. That lung would not survive that buckshot. So not bad. Next up, we are gonna try the Aguila 12 gauge mini slug. This is going 1250 feet per second and it is noticeably more powerful than the buckshot. I think I wanna put this one through the head. Time to go bye bye. And that is why I got out the lab coat. <laughs> God. Well, I know which gun I'll be cleaning this weekend. That was freaking incredible. Let's go ahead and take a look at the damage. As if you need me to tell you that that was lethal. I think it was pretty obvious. There is nothing left of our ballistic dummy head. Just completely exploded the entire thing. And then here's the front. Actually, most of the face is still intact. You can see right there, probably where the slug came out the other side, there's like a watermelon sized exit hole there. <laughs> but other than that, the face did survive. That was epic. We've done contact shotgun blasts before. A lot of that damage is because the muzzle was touching the ballistic dummy head. If it was further back, it probably wouldn't have done quite that much, but those slugs are extremely powerful. Now let's go ahead and try the exact same slug, the Aguila 12 gauge mini slug, but this time from five yards away and on the actual torso since the last one probably wasn't realistic. I'm gonna put this one on the stomach and I'll aim a little bit to the right. Those are so much more powerful than the number four buckshot. It feels like a regular 12 gauge slug and you get a huge fireball too, which is awesome. There's our entrance hole right there from the 12 gauge mini slug. Definitely did some serious damage. And then on the back, you can see where it went through. It actually went directly through the spine, which 
is a good indicator of how it would perform going through bone. And then on the slow-mo footage, I did see that it passed all the way through pretty easily. I was looking for the slug. Unfortunately, I can't find it. But the number four buckshot did not overpenetrate. The 12 gauge mini slug definitely did. And once again, I think that one passed the test. All right, now what I wanna do is hit the right lung with a full-sized double lot buckshot. And then we can compare it to the damage from our mini buck. This is double lot buckshot, that's number four, but I don't have any full-sized number four buckshot. So. Let's see what it does. I'm gonna try to put it in about the same spot. <laughs> Big difference, boys. Obviously quite a big difference from our mini buckshot. As you would expect, it is, you know, two to three times bigger. And just to give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison there, this one has a much bigger entrance hole, much bigger wound cavities, did more damage on the ribs, pretty much all the way around. It's more impressive. Although again, this one is not weak, that's for sure. And then if we go around to the back, we do have some exit holes from the double up buckshot and we have a broken shoulder blade. Whereas the number four buck, nothing passed through and it doesn't look like it broke any bones on the back either. So personally, I would feel more comfortable using the full size double up buckshot. It's just gonna be more effective. If over penetration is a big concern for you, then maybe the mini shell number four buckshot would be the perfect round. Either way, they're both lethal. The full size buckshot is just more lethal. All right, back to the number four buckshot. I'm gonna try to put this one right on the heart. Aim a little bit to the right. Perfect shot, no blood. And I put that number four buckshot pretty much exactly where I wanted to. Dead center, right on the sternum, where I assume the heart would be. We don't have a ton of fluid, but you can see it did a lot of damage. Shattered the sternum, we have bone fragments everywhere. Definitely passed right through the bone. And then if we go around to the back, once again, we have no pass-throughs. So again, the number four mini buck just doesn't get the penetration that some of the others do, but it hits really hard, shatters bone, goes right through and into the organ. It just doesn't blow through the torso like the more powerful stuff. But I think it still looks pretty dang effective. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And next up, we have a federal 12 gauge mini slug. These are going 1200 feet per second, so not quite as hot as the Aguila, but it is heavier and I think these are more common. I almost never see Aguila mini shells in gun shops anymore. I do see federal, so let's see what it does. I'm gonna try to put this one on the liver. Yeah, that was powerful. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't feel any noticeable difference between the Federal and the Aguila mini slugs. And just so you know, I think the Aguila is quite a bit more expensive and a lot harder to find. So Federal's a good choice as well. <laughs> And there is the entrance hole from our Federal Mini Slug. It looks like it went right through the liver. You can see what it looks like compared to the Aguila. Obviously this one had more ballistic shell to go through, so the wound cavity does look a little more impressive. But I think this one is every bit as powerful. Let's go around to the back and oh yeah. <laughs> Once again, Easily passed all the way through, broke bones, went through the spine. Looks like it broke a couple ribs on the back as well. And it looks like every bit of that slug 
did pass all the way through. I would love to recover some of these slugs that are penetrating through the torso and just see what they look like, but unfortunately, I can't find none. I guess we'll go ahead and try a birdshot mini shell. This is a Gila number seven and a half shot. I know some of you guys will be curious, so we'll see what it does. Try to put this one right above our mini slug there. Nothing. And there's the damage from our bird shot. It does have a nice spread at five yards, which is good. And hopefully you can see the penetration, probably two to two and a half inches at the most. I can actually see some of those pellets that did not hit anything but ballistics gel, and they only went like two inches into the torso. So not a good choice for self-defense in my opinion. Now it's obviously all up to you. It comes down to personal preference, but there's your proof. If you're using birdshot mini shells and a home defense shotgun, you should probably rethink your life decisions because that ain't stopping nobody. Well, I think we've pretty much finished this guy off, but let's make sure. <laughs> the fireballs. The fireballs on those mini slugs are freaking awesome. All right guys, that is the 12 gauge mini shell test with the Mossberg Shockwave 590S, my new all time favorite street sweeper shotgun. I think we answered the question, mini shells are pretty dang effective. Obviously they're not as effective as full size shotgun ammo and birdshot is never a good choice, but the buckshot and the slugs would definitely do the job and I would trust them enough to use them in a home defense shotgun. Your opinion may vary. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Don't forget to check our links, sportsmansguide.com. Again, I wanna thank them for sending the laser and the wooden furniture is from Wooks. I will have links and discount codes for all that stuff down in the description box below. So hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button for me guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.